I'm a fan of Matthew McConaughey as an actor. I've never met him, so I don't really have an opinion of him as a person. However, after the Uvalde shooting, Matthew McConaughey has taken on the mantle of being the reasonable voice in the gun debate. And I guess I understand that considering Uvalde is his hometown. However, as a result, Matthew sat down with ABC News and had a conversation about the gun debate. I'm going to give my thoughts about what Matthew has to say because a lot of it is honestly insidiously deceptive. It shouldn't be this, this complicated. You said something else uh, at the White House. You said that the middle ground is where most Americans are yeah. on this issue. The guns issue. Yes. I think you're right, but I've also been following the gun issue for years after tragedy after tragedy, yeah. and nothing gets done. No. Understand that when he says nothing ever gets done, he means more gun control, specifically ban semi-automatic rifles, and some want to ban all semi-auto guns on top of that. Have a mandatory gun buyback of existing semi-auto rifles or all semi-automatic guns. Ban all magazines that can carry more than six to 10 rounds. Be able to take someone's guns without due process. Create a national database of all guns and who owns them, which they call universal background checks. Be able to sue the gun manufacturers anytime a criminal uses one of their guns to commit a crime. There's more, but those are the main things they want done when they say nothing gets done. It does freak out a lot of people that consider themselves strong Second Amendment. Sure. They think any, any measure is a measure towards confiscating sure. all guns. So how do you speak to those people? I think that's kind of what you were doing. Uh, well, one of the things, it was, it was a, just one word yeah. I went in there and flipped, seemed to get those hard Second Amendment yeah. uh, uh, defenders' ears to at least listen. Yeah. And that was, I changed the word from control to responsibility. Right. They hate gun control. Well, control sounds like a mandate. Right. Nobody wants the mandate. No one wants to be controlled. But responsibility is still something that we can all go, yeah, I'll take responsibility. And a lot of the, 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 the far right or the Republicans, they almost feel like responsibility is a value that they have ownership of. And it's a sense of, a sense of almost pride and honor to be responsible. So when, it, when the narrative got changed and the questions and started calling it gun responsibility, a lot more conversations I even noticed in the few days that we were there were able to be had from both sides because the Second Amendment defenders could talk responsibility. They could look you in the eye and talk responsibility with someone from the other side of the aisle. Changing gun control to gun responsibility is kind of like that meme I saw about Pizza Hut. You can put a cross on an old Pizza Hut building and call it a church. However, no matter what sign you put on that building, everyone still knows it used to be a Pizza Hut. And no matter what words you put after gun, it's still about more gun control. Besides, why should responsible gun owners be held personally responsible for the actions of criminals? So because a criminal uses a certain gun in a shooting, ban everyone from owning that gun. Because a criminal uses a magazine with more than six to 10 rounds, ban everyone from using those magazines. However, I don't see him telling the police to be personally responsible for the actions of criminals. Why not limit police to six to 10 rounds? Why not ban police from owning semi-auto rifles? You know why they don't do that? Because it's stupid. If gun control means holding everyone responsible for the actions of a few criminals, then gun control by its very nature will result in banning all guns because criminals will always do criminal shit with guns because they're, wait for it, criminals. You can call it gun responsibility, gun accountability, or gun school for people who don't read good. In the end, you're still impeding on other people's ability to protect themselves because a criminal did some criminal shit. No, thank you. Just because you act good and throw around a couple of euphemisms while using voice inflection doesn't mean we're too stupid to realize that gun responsibility is still just gun control. The funny thing is, Matthew thinks he's doing something new. The gun control lobby stopped using the phrase gun control a long time ago. Now they call it common sense gun measures or common sense gun safety or gun violence prevention. For gun safety. They don't even call it gun control anymore. It's gun safety. And now it's gun violence prevention. You know, it's, it's, you keep uh, making it more obvious that it's something we should do. Using soft words to get us to swallow poison is something they've been doing for decades. So you may be able to pull that gun responsibility crap with a bunch of old rhino FUD Republicans, but not with us. We've seen this playbook way too many times. I mean, some of the issues that you specifically have talked about universal background checks, raising the age for purchasing of, of assault rifles, national red flag laws, mm -hmm. a, long, a waiting period, a longer waiting period uh, for assault weapons. Yeah. These are positions that have widespread approval yeah. among the American public. 80-something percent, right? I mean, if you look, there's a Fox News poll just earlier this year. 
Universal background checks, 87%. Yeah. Uh, allowing police to take away guns from uh, people who have been shown to be a threat, 80%. Mm. Raising the minimum wage, 81%. Waiting period, 70 I mean, it's very rare you see any political issues with that much agreement, and yet none of those things have been done. It's an it's, it's a interesting stat about the populace. Uh, almost near unanimous. I mean, the populist vote is there, and how do the sides and the contingencies have? They're bunkered into their 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 sides on this, and I don't know how the law works. But that was a question I had. Wait, can there be a populist vote on this? An uprising that says, "Look, you're not representing the the, the, the masses. The law is not representing the masses." Um, that math. You may know more about this than I do. That math should add up and right now it doesn't i i, I honestly I, I hate these stupid polls because they're so misleading and you realize how misleading they are when you look at how the polls are conducted if you read fox news's poll methodology it says fox news polls includes interviews with a nationally representative sample of approximately 1,000 registered voters who were randomly selected from a national voter file and spoke live with interviewers on both landlines and cell phones. I understand it's virtually impossible to ask everyone in the country their opinion, but a thousand people out of the 300 million people we have in this country is borderline comical. So I don't give these polls very much weight. However, what I do do is use common sense. Politicians only do what keeps them in office. If 80% or more of the country truly agreed with these measures, they would have been done already. The reasons they have not been done it's clearly because the majority of the country doesn't agree with these measures. Sure, they'll try to blame the spooky gun lobby, but the gun lobby is nothing more than a collection of different groups that receive money by way of donations from gun owners so that they can fight against overreaching gun control laws. Whereas with the gun control lobby, also has the same thing, but on top of that, they have the mainstream medias and a bunch of billionaires who can back them financially with their own agendas. So this means the vast majority of people don't agree with these measures because if they did, scores of people wouldn't be donating money to two-way groups to fight these very measures. Yes, yeah, so you mentioned one thing, get rid of the word gun control. Right. But even without that, do you, yeah. do you have any advice on how they can speak? Quit patronizing. There's a, there's a whole lot of Americans that need you to at least meet them where they are and what they're understanding and what, how they've grown up on this issue with guns in, the, in, in their lives and, and how they, most of them do handle them responsibly. Mm -hmm. So don't cast them down as being archaic or cavemen and women. And how could you? No. Yeah. Listen to them for a minute. And when you're coming in hot, which sometimes the left does, on this issue and many others. Sometimes. Well, yeah. Okay? Yeah. And is immediately saying, you idiot. You dumb ass. Yeah. What? How foolish. You've lost them. You've lost them. Get, they get more defensive. All right, so come in and meet them where meet them where they are, and try to hear where they're coming from first, and and understand that it's it's they have a viable stance, a viable position they're taking that they didn't just come up with last night. I've heard you say that we're not as deeply divided as we're told we are. No, you really <laughs> look at the percentages yeah. we just talked about. Eighty-six yeah. percent. No, but the two on the. I was talking with my wife about this yesterday. It's human nature. You don't slow to, you know, you don't slow down to 35 miles an hour on the interstate because everyone's looking at the daisies in the rainbow in the in the, in the field yeah. to the right. No, you slow down to 35 on the interstate going northbound because everyone's slowing down to look at the car wreck on the southbound <laughs> traffic on the other side. Right. We love the wreck. Yeah. We love it's it's it's, it's yeah. entertainment. We love we don't put our finger on we don't love to watch health as much as we like to watch disease. These two e extremes have the microphone. Yeah. It's more entertaining. Trump's been great at selling fear. Yeah. Fear sells more than hope. C could you see yourself running for something? Could I see? It's, it's, it's more of a larger question for me of is, is politics the category where I can be the most useful? I want to believe what he's saying so bad, but I have to call bullshit. I call bullshit because the gun community is more than willing to have that conversation. But you all never want to. I mean, you say you want to, you talk about, we need to meet them where they are and listen to them. But even now, you're on ABC News, a left-leaning mainstream media platform that is predominantly pro-gun control. You aren't doing interviews with people in the actual gun community. When have you sat down and had a conversation with the biggest voices in the gun community? You haven't. 
Hell, David Hogg is one of the most visible gun control activists in the country. And he backed out of a debate when he found out it was going to be with me. You're only listening to push gun control. I hear you, but how about gun control? I feel you, but how about gun control? Never has any one of you said, okay, how do we keep schools safe while still protecting people's 2A rights? No, it's you either vote with us on this issue or you hate children and want them all to die. Oh, you care about your guns more than you care about saving lives. Never once stopping to think, well, maybe these people want these guns because they see them as a better way to protect the things that they love and care for. You don't know this or ask this because you don't care. Never do you say, okay, let's try working with mental health organizations like Walk to Talk America, who is legitimately trying to find ways to improve mental health in this country while respecting and protecting people's two-way rights. You all never do this. It's always do what we want you to do or you want dead babies. So as likable as Matthew is, I call bullshit on the whole meet them where they are because y'all never do it. You only go on left-leaning pro-gun control platforms and at best maybe talk to a few rhino FUD Republicans who could care less about the Second Amendment and would as soon as vote for gun control if they could get away with it. So until you start actually speaking with the gun community, you're just acting. I'm not saying Matthew doesn't care about saving lives. I believe he does. I also believe he has political aspirations and is trying to be the centrist politician, which I don't have a problem with. What I have a problem with is the dream selling. Meet Americans where they are in gun control, but then only go to pro-gun control platforms. So until you start actually speaking with the gun community, you're just acting. Now, I know you're wondering, why am I wearing a Virginia shirt with a Texas hat? Well, how else am I going to shamelessly tell you about the Keep America Tactical Collection on shop.mrcoleonthewar.com? You see, in present day, the AR-15 is to us what the musket was to the founding fathers in 1776. Sadly, most of the anti-gun politicians believe in banning the AR-15. Believe me, if any of them get the opportunity to make this happen, they will try to do just that. So it's time to send a message to them and the rest of the people who think like them that we have every intention to keep America tactical by never giving up our AR-15s. So not only do the Keep America Tactical hats and shirts come in Texas and Virginia, they come in all 50 states. So head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com and find your Keep America Tactical state hat and shirt today. And as I said in my last video, this week I'm going to be hosting another giveaway exclusive to my YouTube members. The last time I gave away over $700 worth of Surefire Lights. There are three memberships, the PPU Life, the Militia, and the Ammo Sexual. Each group has its own perks and benefits. So if you want to learn more, click the link in the description section of this video. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.